Hi everyone, I'm Anna. I'm a children's librarian at the East Hampton Library and I am back today to share with you another story for what we are calling our stay at home story times. Today I have for you a book called Beautiful Hands by Katherine Otashi and I would like to give a special shout out to Blue Dot Books to thank them for allowing us to record and share their stories during this time. And if you will hang in there with me till the end, then I have another art practice, art project to demonstrate for you um, that you can do at home as well. Beautiful hands. What will your beautiful hands do today? Will they plant? What can you plant? ideas or touch what can you touch hearts will they lift what can you lift spirit or stretch. What can you stretch? Imagination. Will they reach? What can you reach? For love. And for peace, truth, faith, hope, and dreams. What will your beautiful hands do? Tomorrow. Beautiful Hands by Katherine Otashi. Now, if you'll take a minute and go back through the video, you can pause on any of the still shots, photos that we have added of the book. And if you look at those illustrations closely, you will notice that every single illustration in the book is created with handprints. This one, for example, the handprint is the sun, and then the bird's feathers and feet have a little bit of handprint on that as well. So what we're gonna do today is a project where we paint, paint with our hands. To do this, you will first need piece of paper, as always, just plain blank white paper. You will need a paper plate or something, palette, anything that you can pour paint into, and then you're going to put your hand in the paint and mix it around. And last but not least, you will need paint. I picked orange and yellow because the one I did is a sun. Now, if you don't want to get too messy and don't want to do this with paint, then the other option is just to have crayons, markers, or colored pencils Simply trace your hand on the paper and then create a design around that. So if you will take a quick look here, I think it's at the very beginning where it says ideas. So I believe that is supposed to be a flower made out of hand prints. And then you can see here the one that I did as a sample. So have fun with it. Try not to make too much of a mess. Hopefully you have washable paint at your house. If not, then use what you can. And as always, please post your um, projects in the comments. We would love to see them. Thanks. See you next time.